Hey everyone, I'm on the Norwegian Bliss and in this video I wanted to let you know what I liked and didn't like about our experience cruising. Cruising is not for everyone, but I absolutely love it. If you're new to my channel, I went on a 7 night Mexican Riviera cruise on the Norwegian Bliss and in this video I'm sharing what I liked and didn't like about the experience. Spoiler alert, there weren't many things I didn't like. Boarding the ship was a very streamlined and easy process. The actual ship itself was modern in design and decor, kept very clean in all of the public areas, and I really enjoyed how big the ship was and all of the amenities. Plus, we had perfect weather the entire cruise, so we were very fortunate with this experience. Before I jump into the likes and dislikes, if you like cruising, all-inclusive vacations, camping, and things to do videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future travel videos. And now it's time for me to tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about our cruise on the Norwegian Bliss. I'm going to start with a few things I just don't like in general about cruising that aren't specific to this ship, but could be found on pretty much any cruise ship you go on. The first thing is the elevators. They're usually packed, slow, and if you rely on them for a mobility issue, you're gonna be waiting a long time. The second thing is the buffet. I've already said this in an earlier video, I don't particularly like the buffet because people cough in their hands, they sneeze, they touch their nose, they touch the handles that they scoop their food with, and I really don't find that an enjoyable experience, but again, it's not specific to this ship, it's just another thing to consider if you're cruising and eating at the buffet. Now let's talk about the things specific to the Norwegian Bliss. On this cruise, I was kind of disappointed with the beer selection. On the week that we were cruising, they were pretty much out of every single draft beer in the distillery. And on the first day we arrived, they only had one IPA on tap and that was gone by the second day. And as an IPA drinker, that's something that I didn't like about this cruise. However, it did not ruin my cruise at all. I was able to find other drinks that I liked and it was just something that I kind of disliked about this cruise. Another thing I didn't like about our drink package was that it didn't include water. So you could get water at any of the bars or the buffet, but bottled water or Tetra Pak water was not included in the drink package. So if you wanted to buy a Tetra Pak of water, it was $5.50 US. Norwegian does offer water packages, which would save some money instead of buying them individually. Or you can bring your own reusable water bottle, but there are signs everywhere saying that you can't refill reusable bottles at the dispensers or at the bars, so it makes it a bit of an inconvenience. Another thing that was a minor inconvenience was that the safe in our cabin was very small. We actually didn't have a lot to put in, which was okay, but a laptop would not fit. So my husband had to keep his laptop in his backpack. So if you're looking to store bigger items in your safe, you're probably not going to be able to on this ship because they are quite small. I honestly can't think of anything else that I didn't like about this particular cruise ship or this cruise experience. I really liked everything. So let me tell you all the things that I loved about this experience. In no particular order, I'm gonna start with the service. The staff on board were just incredible, so friendly, provided great service. I did not have a single encounter with a staff member on this ship that was negative. Everyone on board is so friendly and that's something I really liked. Now let's talk about the food on board. I loved the food. I thought the food was fantastic. Whether you were at the buffet, if you were doing a sit-down breakfast, a sit-down dinner, it didn't matter. All the food that we had was pretty top-notch on this ship. I also did videos about the complimentary food and the a la carte dinners that you could add on as packages or just dine as you went. And I think the complimentary dinners were so good. You don't even need to dine at any of the specialty restaurants because the food that's included in your package is just amazing. So if you want to, you can, but you absolutely don't need to dine at any of the specialty restaurants and you still get amazing food. We did the free at sea special and had the drink package and there was such a wide array of drinks, cocktails, anything you could think of, it was pretty much included in your package 
just depended on the labels or the, the type of alcohol that you were looking for. But basically, if you wanted red wine, there was red wine in your price range. And if you wanted cocktails, there were tons of cocktails in your price range. So we really enjoyed the drink package. I also really enjoyed the variety of bars that they had on the ship. We really liked the Maltings Whiskey Bar and the Cavern. Those would be our top two, probably followed by the distillery because it had a pretty cool vibe. But they had a beautiful wine cellar and even some outdoor pool bars that were really great as well. I also really enjoyed the shopping on this ship. They had a number of different stores that you could browse and they had different evenings where they were selling jewelry, t-shirts, beach bags, etc. So if you're looking for souvenirs, you can even just find them on the ship. Another thing I really enjoyed about this ship was the entertainment. We went to two musicals on board, Jersey Boys and Six, and I would have paid money to see those back home. They were incredible. So I definitely recommend checking those out if you're on this ship. They also had a number of other musical artists playing throughout the ship and different types of entertainment like trivia, crossword puzzles, and other things to get guests engaged and having some fun throughout the ship. So take part in some of the entertainment activities that are available because it's free and they're quite enjoyable. Another thing I really liked about this ship was our balcony room. I liked that the bed was right beside the door so you could keep the curtain open and wake up to the ocean surrounding you and it was a really beautiful experience. I also enjoyed that it was very well located. We didn't pick this room, it was just assigned to us and it was very conveniently located to the stairs and elevators. So I really enjoyed that about this particular cruise. I also really enjoyed how much storage we had in this cabin. There were shelves in the closet. There were tons of hangers available. We had spots that we could put our suitcases and our backpacks. And we didn't feel like anything was really cluttered because we were able to put everything away. However, I did bring these amazing magnetic hooks that we were able to place on the walls of the cabin. And that gave us even more storage that we could hang items and keep them off the couch and off the bed and off the desk. So it made it seem that much more organized. So I'll link those below if you're interested in taking a look. I also really liked the app. We used the app all the time on this cruise because it told you what was happening, where it was happening, when things were open. It just made the experience so much more convenient. You can know what's going on so that you don't have to take that paper flyer around with you to see what's happening. We also had the premium Wi-Fi package and we thought it was really great. My husband was even doing YouTube videos pretty much every night of this cruise and he was able to upload them, but it just took a little bit of time. However, if you just wanted to browse the internet, go on YouTube, watch some movies, you could easily do that with the premium package. And we pretty much had connection everywhere we went on the ship. So I thought it was actually a really great package and would definitely get it again. We took four excursions on this cruise and we did them all through the ship. I thought they were all pretty good. However, some of them didn't give you as much time to do things on your own as you would like. And like all cruise tours, you're waiting for other people, the tour guide, etc. So they're not perfect, but they do give you a great option if you wanna go out and experience the area and have the security of being able to get back on the ship because if anything happens to the tour, they pretty much have to wait for you or get you to your next destination. And that's why I usually like to take a cruise tour through the cruise. This doesn't really have anything to do with the ship, but more with me. I really like that I didn't get seasick on this cruise because I was taking my meds to prevent that. So if you do get seasick, make sure you bring something that you can take because that could ruin your entire cruise and it has for me in the past. So this time I really liked that I did not get seasick. If you've ever been on a cruise, let me know in the comments below what you liked or disliked about the experience. And don't forget to check out the rest of my cruise videos where I share more about our experience on the Norwegian Bliss and touring around the ports. Videos are linked in the description below. I hope this video can be helpful for you if you're planning your own cruise in the future and want to know some of the pros and cons. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos coming soon.